Hey, my name is Mark. I am 23 years old and I have no friends. I. I don't know what this video should look like, I don't know if anyone will see it at all, so. I have noticed that there is such a misunderstanding in this world about my problem, where if someone says they have no friends or close circle, there must be a distinct reason. As if it has to be our fault or a twist of fate, such as constantly moving out. We often hear that you should just try and talk to people, but you just don't. It is said that we have to go and start doing some hobbies or doing sports and eventually some company will be found. I have been going to the gym for three years and somehow I did not notice that any of the people attending my gym were in a close relationship with each other. It's just that people come and do their thing and they don't want to be disturbed. So I myself know from my own experience that this is not the case. I do not consider myself a misfit, and somehow I could never find close friends for life which does not mean that I did not talk to people at school. Maybe I should start all over again. My name is Mark, wait I just repeat myself, hee <laughs> hee. Sorry, I don't have a script or anything. Me precise, she is 25 vented. I have an older sibling, one sister to be precise, she is 25, both loving parents, so it wasn't like I was neglected my whole life, although if someone hears the phrase loving parents, they probably imagine a group of people riding bicycles on a Saturday afternoon in the forest and having fun. I'm not saying that I didn't do anything with my family, but my household looked a little different from what you see on TV. I remember that everyone was left to themselves, but you could feel the warmth of family members. I just want to say that we didn't spend a lot of time together, but it just happened and that doesn't mean we didn't love each other if I can put it that way. For as long as I can remember, I had no problems with making friends, but that doesn't mean I had a lot of friends. I had only one such person in primary school, with whom you can say that I had any kind of friendly relationship. However, that doesn't mean the rest of the class somehow disliked me. On the contrary, it was always possible for me to talk to someone. When you are at a certain age, like a child, it is easier to approach somebody because at this age kids like others when they watch the same cartoons or play the same video games, so you can make friend only by just doing that. Anyway, this friend of mine, his name was. Or better I won't say his name, but probably no one will watch me, maybe two people. Which is a pretty good summary of me and my life. So, my friend was very nice to me, we always sat at the same desk, we even fell in love with the same girl. But as you can imagine at that age, we did nothing about it. None of us even tried to approach her. We never argued about her or competing with each other, which probably as an adult would look different. I remember that we always found topics to talk about, and I had no problems with coming up with new one. We were almost like twins. In elementary school, even kids called us clones. Oh hey, the clones are coming. Back then I didn't know why they called us that. But there is such a thing that when you are in the company of people for a while, you start to copy certain characteristics from each other. The manner of speaking, facial expressions, humor. As if we were transmitting on the same wavelength. Where you practically do not need to listen to the person to the end and we already know what they want to say, which is not bad at all. Sometimes I miss it. Oh, and the fact that they called us clones was not something hurtful. So far I remember, because, as I said, I was always liked, so no one was bullying me or anything. I have never done something to another classmate. I didn't make anyone cry and still, no one just thought I would be suited to be a friend. People just tolerated me, but they didn't want to get to know me better. As for that girl I had a crush on, I remember that you could describe her as a female version of me where she was also liked. Only that she hasn't anyone any close friend. But she could always be able to join any group during breaks and talk to anybody. I always was curious that during the last break she was always alone, no matter if we had 6 or 5 hours of classes. It was always the last break. And one day I just walked to her and tried to ask her what is she doing, and it was the first time we talked to each other face to face. And I will never forget what she said. She looked at me and said. You can't stand here. What? Is something wrong? 
you can't stand here. I don't understand, it's a public space. Okay, I. I'm on my way. I went to high school. This friend also went to the same place because we had all the schools in the same neighborhood, so I never had to leave my city, unless we were going on vacation with my parents, but later we even stopped doing that. Only that I and this friend ended up in different classes and then we stopped talking to each other completely, I don't even know why. And I won't blame him because I didn't even try to contact him either. As if our friendship was only about not being bored on school breaks and just goofing around, as I think about it now, it could have been so. Oh, and I haven't mentioned it yet, but we never saw each other after school in our spare time, not in elementary school and not in high school, although we lived in the same neighborhood as I said. If there weren't two blocks in front of my window, I could basically see his windows. But I don't know why we didn't meet outside school strange very strange at that age i didn't even realize that i should do something like meeting with classmates and i just sat at home and played with tin soldiers i had a whole box full of them or i just watched cartoons on tv then i got a playstation for christmas and i must admit that i was spending too much time but if it weren't for video games i would be sitting at home watching tv anyway on the other hand in high school I could never find another person like that, as if no one wanted to get close to me if you can put it that way. Because in my class a lot of people knew each other from earlier years and I didn't know anyone. In the beginning, that is, in the first weeks, people were not so close with each other and tried to find with whom they would be friends. Because it always happens at the beginning of a new school, people who dumb groups of friends for the next years, or at least until they graduate from high school. So if I could give advice to someone that just starting a new school, it's important to approach people and start a conversation at the very beginning, and not wait because then there may be a problem with that. Well, how do you imagine that after 6 months you will suddenly start talking to people from your class, and before that they just saw you sitting by the wall alone at each break? And I knew about it, so at the beginning, I wanted to get in touch with them but always somehow I just stood next to them in their group and did not speak up. I didn't even know what to say because they were talking about friends I don't know, and about situations in which I didn't participate, so I didn't even think I needed to say anything. And when you were a teenager, it takes more than common interests to like someone. After all, I will not come and ask what games they play, it would be stupid and immature. Later I stopped approaching them at all, but just as in my childhood, I was liked in the class. Well, I do not know what was the cause. Am I an introvert, although all the girls had a crush on him? He was always doing something, and he didn't have time for others, and maybe that somehow made people orbit around him, because he wasn't always available, so you had to beg him to spend time with you. It was thanks to him that I started to take care of myself, because I remember that when I came to first grade, I wore two big clothes baggy jeans and shirts that I could fit both arms in those sleeves. This is every parent's logic buying clothes for years, hoping that in the next few years we will grow up and they will still be right for us. But from then on, I knew that I had to choose my own clothes to look better. I admit it did not work out at first, but I tried anyway, saw that people noticed that and laughed, but it was just small harmless jokes. Interestingly, in the second grade, I got a love letter for Valentine's Day which was nice. I don't know if you had the same, but in my school, you could put a letter in a basket on Valentine's Day, and then the class president walked around the class and handed it to you. I did not see those girls as potential partners. We went to a barbecue with the whole class, everyone told what they were going to do after graduation and what studies they were going to and that's it. I never saw them again. Not all of them because there was one boy named Nathan, he was in my class and he was always on the sidelines. And now he even wrote me a message saying that he wanted to talk to me about the good old days, which is strange because I've never talked to him, but it's still nice to get a message from someone other than family or a cell phone network. Although I do not hide that I would prefer someone else to write to me after many years, but I cannot choose now. When I got this message, 
I was shocked and surprised because I didn't even know if I wanted to go see him. Later I decided that this would be the best time to change something in my life. I don't know, maybe he changed and found some company that I can easily slip in. I do not hide that I am a little nervous. I didn't even know what to talk to him about, so I wrote some topics just in case because I want to avoid those awkward pauses when people talk to each other. I know it's a little weird, but what can I do? I even stopped browsing the internet at night to heal my tired eyes, which I don't think they heal much. And now those two people who watch it on YouTube, and somehow they watched until this point may think that, I am talking here all the time for 5 minutes, so what are you talking about, Mark? About some luscious story from your normal life. Because there are people in this world who have some illnesses or other ailments that limit, or deter other people and you are not limited by anything and you have some imaginary problem of yours. And for that I say, yes, I have a problem, I have always had it and I don't know why. You don't always have to be a person with some kind of disability to prevent you from contact with people, and I am an example of this. What am I supposed to do now? All my life I was hoping that someone will come from nowhere and take me away. And no one ever came. I don't have anyone that cares about me. And I just wish I had someone who knows I'm alive. What am I supposed to do now? I have the same at the university. At work, everyone is twice my age. I have nowhere to look, nowhere to find. I slowly wonder if it will be like this forever. My parents keep telling me that when they were my age, they already had my sister and what am I waiting for? Okay, mom, dad, I'm going to take a random girl out of nowhere and marry her instantly. Which wouldn't be the worst idea. Somehow I don't see them picking on my sister like that. Although she has someone, but it's not anything serious and I don't have anyone. Well, that's the way life is, I don't know if anyone will need this video. I don't even know how to finish it. I don't know if I'll post something later, maybe some reports from the meeting or something. So maybe you're watching me for the last time. And this short film told you the story of my life, which wasn't the worst that I could have, but wasn't any good either. So that's it, bye.